Gospel Reflections for Today, March 16, 2023, Thursday of the third week of Lent. In today's Gospel passage, we see Jesus casting out a demon from a mute man. This event causes amazement among the people who witness it, but it also draws criticism from some who accuse Jesus of being in league with the devil. Jesus responds to this accusation by saying, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. He then goes on to explain that it is only through the power of God that demons can be cast out. As Catholics, we believe in the reality of evil and the existence of demons, but we also know that God's power is greater than any evil. In this passage, Jesus shows us that he has authority over demons and that he uses that power for good. He does not work with the devil but instead is in direct opposition to him. But what does this mean for us? It reminds us that we too have the power to resist evil, and that by turning to God we can overcome sin and temptation in our lives. We can pray for the strength to follow God's will, even when it is difficult, and trust that His grace will sustain us. Moreover, we should also be aware that evil can sometimes disguise itself as good, just as the Pharisees accused Jesus of acting in the name of the devil. Therefore, we must remain vigilant and discerning, seeking wisdom from God and the teachings of the Church to guide us in our choices and actions. In conclusion, Jesus' authority over demons in this gospel passage reminds us of the power of God over evil, and our need to stay close to Him in prayer and discernment. May we always seek to do God's will and trust in His guidance and protection. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the Gospel of St. Luke, we are reminded of the power of Your Son Jesus Christ to overcome evil and darkness. We pray for the strength and courage to turn away from temptation and resist the lies and delusions of the devil. May we always seek refuge in the light of Christ and trust in His power to guide us towards righteousness and truth. Help us to be vigilant in our faith, recognizing the signs of spiritual attack and taking up the armor of God to defend ourselves against the enemy's schemes. We pray also for those who are struggling with addiction, depression, or any form of darkness that can lead them away from you. May they find solace and hope in your love and mercy and may your healing power be upon them. Thank you, Lord for the gift of your Son who has conquered sin and death and brought us the promise of eternal life. May we always turn to Him as our Savior and Lord and live our lives according to His teachings, we ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.